Black mouth. If you went to Oregon Rivers in Springtime, that's called a blueback or a springer. They are all Chinook. So you're gonna go to restaurants that day and they're gonna say, we have this on special today, and you're gonna go, that's not one of the five. All right, so it's a local nickname for the fish. We all, it just, it's just the way it is, you know what I mean? Now, when you guys go back to Seattle, I want you to go up to somebody and go, how are the Humpties doing this year? And if they're local, they will not look offended. <laughs> What's a Humpy? Anybody know? Nope. Pink. Humpies are pinks. Okay. Oh, yeah. And they're called Humpies. They got a humpback. Because when they go back in fresh water, they develop this huge hump back. I'm going to pass this around, okay? But this is my fishing regulations. It has coffee stains on it, okay? <laughs> <laughs> and this is a picture of how the salmon look in salt water and how they change when they go to spawning mode, okay? So I'm going to pass that around. It. <laughs> so that, those are those are humpy or, or humpback salmon, some people call them. All right. Now I like I like to look for seals in here because this is kind of a quiet cove. They don't use this dock anymore. I haven't seen a seal in about a month now. So we we have harbor seals. They're they're kind of silvery looking. All right. We also have uh, stellar sea lions here. Once again, a stellar sea lion is a very big sea lion about the size of a walrus, 1,200 pounds. And the good news is they're aggressive. <laughs> so everything tries to kill you in Australia. Everything in Alaska is cool. bigger than you, and it accidentally hurts you. Sorry. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. Okay. And another reason I know there's seals here. It's because I live right up the hill. Nice. So if you look up the hill, there's on the, uh, right in the center, there's two gray three-story buildings on the one on the right, on the bottom floor on that one. So this is my view. So nice. I can see the, seal, the seals' heads down here popping around. That's nice. I saw a uh, gray whale a couple weeks ago across the Narrows. If we see a whale, which can happen, I'm going to charge all of you another $61. Okay. Okay. Because <laughs> I find reasonable, don't you? <laughs> And who thinks I can't talk a half hour on whales, right? <laughs> I'm not threatening you, I'm just saying. <laughs> What's happening, <kind of> friend? <laughs> Pretty much. <laughs> so coming up to your left, there's a float plane. So they are all sea planes. That's their mother name, okay? This is a kind of sea plane called a float plane. A float plane lands on its pontoons, okay? And you also have flying boats, like a PBY that lands on its hull. Does that make sense? Yep. But they're all seaplanes. That's, that's, I, I had pilots on board they, and they admonished me and I make sure I get this right, okay? <laughs> you ever have a job like that? People correct you all day long. They Google you, right? You know. <laughs> Thanks for that. <laughs> right? Now, most people learn how to fly on a plane with wheels, right? That makes sense. Another one came in. So, you're, you're a pilot and you want to become float plane certified. How many hours does it take to become, to become float plane certified? Eight. eight. Eight hours. Which doesn't sound like enough eight. to me. I don't yep. think you guys, right? You want more. <laughs> There's a place in Idaho you can get done on a weekend. You come out Sunday night, which is significant, yeah. So these are the canneries. See the big tube over here on your left? You can barely see Woo. behind it. There's the transvac. That's the salmon sucking wow. vacuum. Okay. We have, we have two canneries here, and they're year-round canneries, which is pretty rare in Alaska. Most canneries in Alaska are salmon, 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 and that's it. This one's salmon right now until October, but they're year-round because, because they process whatever's running. So after salmon, they'll do, they'll do uh, king crab, they'll do halibut, uh, black bass, uh, gooey duck, sea urchins, sea cucumbers, when, whatever's running, they do. And so if you guys want a job at minimum wage in a 35 degree cooler all day, I can hook you up, okay? <laughs> Get into that, huh? You can do that. See if my cord reaches. <laughs> Thanks, sir. So cool. Hi, right, guys. There's a whole bunch of birds here, and the captain's going to drive right through them because he likes to think he's Tippy Hedren from the birds. <laughs> <laughs> Don't ruin this for him, okay? <laughs> There's a whole bunch of birds here because these canaries grind oh up their waist and pump in the water. So these birds are waiting for lunch. Okay. That's our Usually ship. a bunch of turds. 
out here today. Today we have a bunch of seagulls, but they're, they're usually turds, which are the more slender ones. Go by another fish bump there. Two more boats down here. I'm assuming they're acting as tenders right now. It's hard to tell what they're up to, but uh, sometimes you can easily see the gear in the back of them, but uh, today, today not so much. And so we have, we have all the salmon in town, right? Love it. Go to the Safeway. The only salmon you can find right there is frozen for 14 bucks a pound. Uh. All right, I have, to, I have to drive 15 minutes out of town. There's one seafood place that I can buy fresh fish at. They wow. can everything up there. And I think they ship the rest of it to, to like, you know, Seattle, right? They get the big bucks. But everybody here catches their own salmon, I think. That's what's really going on. Me too. I do that, I do that a little bit too, so it's pretty cool. We'll do a nice little turn here. You're going to get a nice view of your ship. Kind of the, you get the church there for scale. Wow. Okay, taking good care of you guys. You get, you get your five pounds a day on. Oh, <laughs> yeah. You get a prize for that or something? <laughs> <laughs> they weigh you. <laughs> That's Pennock Island over there on your left. That, that island has no groundwater. It's solid rock. So where do you get your drinking water from? Rain. Get it from the rain. So you run your gutters into a cistern. And your sister has a filter and a 